Hey guys! I want to show you how I made this lovely lighted wall decor that can be used to light up a hallway space or a large empty wall and it's renter friendly too. And I also want to show you how I made this lighted decorative wall shelf. But before we go any further, I want to give a big shout out to Trisha. And I call her Sensei because she is such an inspiration to me and she used to funnel for a wall sconce. It is so pretty and I would like you guys to check out her video to see how she made hers. The link will be in the description box below. Now let's go ahead and get started. I am using the funnel in Walmart that has a blue color and it's perfect for the design that I want to make. I cut it into two and then I remove the upper part for the other half. I'm also going to be cutting out the extra lip that this one has. I used four funnels and this is how I want to display them on a trifle board. And so I spray painted them white using the rust -Oleum spray paint. And then I spray painted skewer silver and then cut them down to the length of the funnels. I'm going to be using the self-adhesive gems that I got from Walmart to attach them to each and every one of the skewers. This was what happened when I was applying the second coat of spray paint and I think it's because of the leathery effect of the first coat of spray paint. So let me know in the comment section below if this has ever happened to you and if you have a solution for it. Now this is how I'm going to be gluing on the skewers that has the gems onto the funnels. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This vertical design is just to trick the eyes from viewing the raw and actual shape of the funnel. This is how I'm going to be placing down the funnels to form the design. Now I'm going to be measuring where I hope to put the pieces on the trifle board just to make sure that I form an accurate uniform pattern before I permanently glue it down to the trifle board. After gluing down all of the funnels, this is what it looks like. And then let's move over to the lightings. I'm going to be using these mini lightings. They can be used underwater for decoration. And I'm going to be gluing these lightings inside each and every one of the funnels. And to change the battery, because it does come with an extra battery, you just turn the knob. Now this is the overall look. And I mounted it on the wall using command strips. And I later decided to just add half inch mirrors on top of each and every one of the openings on the funnels. You can skip the mirror part and just leave it the way it is. But then this is what I did and I love the way it turned out. And you can also change the colors. I also made a lighted wall shelf using the spell table runner. The procedure to make a wall shelf with funnels is going to pop up at the top here and it will also be in the description box below. I used the leftover pieces to make this and I really love the way this looks and I did not spray paint the funnel. I left it the way it is with a blue color and just glued on the pieces all around to form this shape. Now I'm going to be gluing on the lighting and this is what I did and I left a space in between so I can hang it on the wall using nails. I used gems to cover up the rough edges and to also add to the overall design. It's so pretty and look at what it looks like with the lights on. It's such a unique decor piece. I just love this modern style wall decor lighting. It's so pretty and so versatile and retro friendly. This is what it looks like on the floor and you can mount it anywhere in the home. I tried it on almost all of the walls that I have at home and I really love the way it looks. It has some sort of futuristic look and most importantly, it's renter friendly. Let me know what you think about these decor pieces in the comment section below and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.